Hey there guys, welcome to Shock and Awe Gaming, this is Silent Protagonist, and we're back with another episode of Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. We are currently in the desert. Oh, looks like our bag is full. Again. I guess we'll just leave this stuff on the Pokemon for now. Um, let's see who we are going to do. Oh, just give it to you for now. I don't know why the fuck they give you the option to use something if it doesn't have a use. It's not exactly a difficult thing to get rid of that option. It's a nice chunk of laziness on Nintendo's part. Though we could say the same thing about a bag limit. It's just laziness. Not wanting to code in more space. Alright, so we did catch a Pokemon here. Uh, we did end up nicknaming it. Um, for now we're just gonna go ahead and... We're just, we're just gonna clear through these trainers in the desert here. Uh, now if I remember correctly, there's a couple of items to pick up. We're gonna be grabbing a fossil. Um... That's about it. Desert doesn't really have anything except some wild Pokemon that you uh, can't find anywhere else. And a few trainers. That is going to give us a nice chunk of experience, hopefully, though. Wow, that's super fucking obnoxious. Love of fucking god. Fucking die already. Fucking hate the desert. These abilities are annoying as fuck. Just because this isn't the gayest shit in the world.
Alright. Next. We're having a picnic in the desert. It sounds horrible. Miserable. That should be enough. Well, if that wasn't very effective, then I must have been correct in thinking that that's ground psychic as a type combination. I knew it had to be ground or rock because it wasn't being affected by the sandstorm. I'm still not positive on which one it is, but if mock punch, mock punch wasn't effective, um, then it's it's dual type is is with psychic. Lisa doesn't know any good moves. I mean, Rabbit Spin is fine if it's on on a competitive team, but just a regular fight is useless.
Well, as you can tell, for those of you who might have been wondering, yes, there's a very good damn reason why Double Team is banned in competitive battle. It's because of shit like this. Get hit and fucking die already. God, this place sucks ass. <clears throat> Ooh, Victory Road is better than this shit. I don't think there's anything else up here. We don't have a mock fight, so we can't go up there. I think there's a black belt up there to fight, but whatever. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I know I could just go south and get the other bike, but that's eh, really not worth it. I mean, it really doesn't care. Uh, it's the root. We'll sink into the sand because we were too lazy to put it at the end of a tunnel and have someone take the other one. Alright, well... Heads will take the one on the left, tails will take the one on the right. I think I said that was the one on the left. I don't know. I don't care. I'm probably not going to revive it. <laughs> Alright, now let's keep going. Should be some more people down here somewhere. I was going to say, some of these rocks have shit in them. It's uh, not the worst one to find right off the bat there, though. Alright, um, go to the bag. You know, let him up again real quick there. Now this dude should have one Pokemon, I believe? 
I think he just has a sand slash or something. Yeah, he's a ruin maniac, so should just be a sand slash. Alright, this should give us a nice chunk of experience. Well, I shouldn't be surprised they didn't die in one hit. Not bad. That's right, he's looking for the Reggies. The Reggies. In there. Doesn't have strong Pokemon though, so I don't know why he's looking for them. Maybe he's suicidal, I don't know. through all of it already, huh? Pretty sure I've beaten all the trainers. Let me get the hell out of here. reason why Cacnea doesn't take damage from Sandstorms? I don't think so. I don't think it's ground type. I don't think it's rock type. I think it just cheats the system because this is where they wanted to shove it.
Fucking come on. This doesn't hit. I'm gonna break my own rule and run from combat because this is retarded. Yeah, there's nothing short of a waste of fucking time. Oh, there's trap inch. I got lucky there that I had this guy in. That critical hit could have hurt someone else. <clears throat> Thankfully, <sighs> Champ is part fighting, so dark type moves won't be uh, very effective on him. It might not make sense uh, for that type matchup kind of in, in these generations. Oh, really? Um. Not sure if I mentioned this, but uh, in, in one of my previous videos, uh, getting back to that tight matchup, uh, for those of you not familiar with the Japanese versions of the games, um, fighting isn't really a good translation. Um, it's actually more of a mistranslation, which un unfortunately isn't too uncommon. Um, they just kind of take whatever is easiest most of the time for them to work with, rather than what's proper. Uh, fighting in, in the Japanese versions translates a little bit more roughly to justice type, um, which is why it's super effective against darkness, and darkness is not very effective against it. Um, kind of that cliché light over darkness trope. Um, yeah, I mean, it fits with Pokemon's whole theme of nonsensical friendship, um, which is utter nonsense, but that's what we have to work with, unfortunately. But yeah, that's why, uh, that's why that type matchup does exist the way it does, uh, so if you weren't familiar with that, uh, I guess you learned something new today. I actually didn't find that out till um, probably Diamond and Pearl time. I never really paid too that much close attention to it. Um, happened to happen to read it off somewhere, so 
It's a neat piece of uh, Pokemon trivia for those of you who are interested. Iggy was not fortunate enough. Maybe we'll check again, but not gonna be fortunate enough to get anything here, I don't think. Yeah. I don't know why it still says someone's PC. We've already met them that. We just haven't gone to her home. Maybe. Yeah, we'll do it this way. No. No, it's not. I mean, I know that's the nonsense that Nintendo tries to cram down our throat, but no. Power is, in fact, the only thing that actually has any effect on the outcome. Tight match up here. Thankfully, I don't think it's gonna matter. That is uh, the benefit of being twenty something levels above that unfortunate bastard. I would have loved to have found you earlier this game. At the end of the day, I still think we're pretty lucky to have gotten our Shroomish. I mean, that could have just gone so many worse ways. And what we could have caught in the woods here. They don't challenge you when you go through the door, you can just put me through the fucking door. Besides, it's not like it's actually a room with a fast Pokemon, it's a room with a trainer who uses X speed. I mean, I guess it makes sense, they put such a useless group of items in the in game that I guess somewhere they had to make someone use the damn things. It makes no sense for the gym trainers, but sure, whatever, I guess. No reason for these items to exist. No one's in this boring shit. Man, not actually a Pokemon with better accuracy, just someone who uses X accuracy. Oh, 
wasting the one turn they have to attack me. Save you, buddy. Ugh. I mean, I really hope all of these trainers realize that the reason they lose is not because of their strategy, it's because they waste their time using items and walk headlong into horrible tight matchups. I mean, I doubt it, but eh, it would be nice. Alright, I think we are going to head on over to the Pokemon Center really quickly. Uh, we do unfortunately kind of have to heal. Not because we're really low on HP, but because we're kind of just out of PP from my punch. Alright, huh? Well, at this point, I can clear out these last couple of trainers. Mm. 
These guys should all have zingers. Yep. It's twenty seven as well. At least I got a decent chunk of experience. Alright, the last trainer in this gym is the leader. Unfortunately, I don't really have the confidence to go fight him with just a single fighting type move, especially one that's uh, only 40 power with uh, priority. So I think we are going to go train up a little bit more. Um, the leader of this gym, if I remember correctly, should have a Slacking, bigger off than a slacking. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go try to fight him right now. Uh, as much as slacking has huge drawbacks for having high base stats and being an early Pokemon you can find, which is kind of dumb, uh, makes it really useless if you use one. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna have the damage to get through it all safely. But yeah, so we're gonna go train a little bit more. You guys, we're going to take care of all of that training next time when we play a little bit more Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, guys! Did you enjoy this video? If you did, be sure to leave us a comment down below in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really means a lot to us. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.